reminder, it's a 10 over game. So nearly halfway through the first innings. And that is cut nicely and just managed to get away from the fielder who was diving to his left. And looks like Gauss out in the deep fielding. And just the one from it. Oh, no, two from it. Apologies. McLeod and Rollins at the crease. And Harmeet Singh certainly has put the brakes on this uh, fast scoring of the Florida Scorpions. So two runs from the last delivery. And here comes Singh for his last ball. But it won't be his last ball because it's been signaled wide by the umpire. Yes, Harmeet uh, did not seem too pleased with that one. He thought that was uh, within the rules, and uh, it was a legal delivery, as my West Indian uh, commentator friends would say. But it was uh, called a wide, and he has to bowl it again. Harmit left arm over. And this time he swipes it in a clean stroke over extra cover. I believe it could be, oh, it's a boundary, just inside the ropes. One bounce uh, for four for McLeod, 86 for two, Sasha. Yeah, Scorpions moving on to 86 after their five overs. So at the halfway stage, Florida Scorpions, 86 for two. And Sam Palmy going to need to get a few more wickets or at least prevent all these boundaries from going because the Scorpions are scoring at a pretty good rate here. Absolutely. This has been a tremendous display by the opening pair with uh, some superb stroke play until Harmeet Singh put the brakes on them and uh, dislodged the pair with two successive deliveries. And now we have a, the bowling is going to be, there's a bowling change at the pavilion end. Yeah, Cornwall comes back into the attack. He was expensive off his first over, 16 from it. But with Callum McLeod facing his first ball, Rakeem Cornwall, Jimbo Cornwall is gonna want to strike early here. And here he comes facing McLeod, who moves across his wickets. So he thought that was going to be given as a wide, but no luck for the batter. And Cornwall comes in for his second delivery and manages to not let McLeod get a hold of that. He was looking to swing that a long way. And two dots from Cornwall to start his second over. Here he comes again. And again, another dot ball. McLeod just not really reading where that ball's going at the moment. And he might be getting a little bit frustrated because these dot balls are not what the Scorpions are needing with only four and a half overs left. And he manages just to get a bit of bat on that, but hasn't hit that sweetly at all, has not timed that. But they will get the sing sing single. And Rawlins will come on strike now for the fifth delivery of Cornwall's over. Yeah, Cornwall is bowling intelligently. He's seeing that the bat batsman is trying to uh, move around the crease and he's bowling on the fourth and the fifth stump and uh, trying to entice the batsman to attack him as he now goes right arm around the wicket with a very short run-up, Sasha, to the southpaw Delray Rollins. And Rawlins just gets the reverse in there. And the fielder miss, misses it altogether. And is that going to go all the way for the boundary? I think it's just going to stop short. Just going to stop short. But I believe they got three off that ball. That just slowly dribbled away past the fielder and to the boundary. Yep, there you go again. Just a little reverse flick. And they managed to run really nicely there for three. So after lots of dot balls... Three from it, from from the fifth delivery as Cornwall comes in for his last ball, which is hit very high and very far. That's gone straight back into the Florida Scorpions camp. And they look very pleased about that. Six off the last ball and Delroy Rulins moves on to nine. The Florida Scorpions, 96 for two. McLeod on seven, Rollins on nine. And it's time for a... Mad Hatter break. Yeah. 
So partnership now of 17 between McLeod and Rawlins. They were both new to the crease when the opening pair fell in just two balls. So they need to start building this one up again. Florida Scorpions after six overs are 96 for two. And the man with both wickets, Harmeet Singh, comes back into the attack here. Harmeet has protection on the long on and the long off boundary. And wide delivery from Singh. And Rawlins just dabs that down to the offside boundary. Gauss, the man out there, fields it nicely and just a single. Harmeet bowling a good line and length, uh, not giving uh, too much, uh, making too many errors in uh, his deliveries. And uh, the last delivery was cut well for that single, but with protection on the boundary, he was able to get away with only a single as he now comes around left arm around the wicket to Callum McLeod, batting on seven. The Scorpions 97 for two. So here comes Singh again. And that is, looks like a top edge and it's gone straight up in the air and there is a man out there who takes a lovely catch. Is that Corny Dry again? He can't seem to get out of the way of the ball. He's under all of them and that's the third wicket for the Florida Scorpions. And Harmeet Singh again, the man getting the breakthrough. He's three wickets for just 10 runs off his 1.2 overs so far. Yeah, Harmeet is clearly fooling the batsmen with his uh, faster deliveries as they try to go for those swipe strokes uh, on the onside, uh, mid on, mid wicket area. And he would this time, uh, a mistimed stroke uh, caught in the deep, as we can see, uh, with Harmeet now grabbing his third wicket uh, in this uh, second over of his. So Harmeet with the golden arm in uh, the Samp Army at the present time, as the new batsman who comes in to bat is Richie Barrington, joining uh, Delray Rollins. Yeah, another Scottish man to the crease here. Quite a few Scots around and about in the Florida Scorpions camp, including their captain, Carl Kotzer. And Harmeet Singh to Delray Rawlins, who just leaves that ball alone. That was there to be hit, and he wasn't interested. He almost got away with a without a wide, I thought. And Singh in again. And this time Rawlins does not leave that alone. That is going to race away for a four. Lovely shot there from Rawlins. Harmeet almost challenging the batsman that I'm going to bowl to you guys outside the off stump. Hit me. I have some protection in the deep at long off and uh, deep extra cover. But this time he found the gap for four runs uh, as Rawlins now moves on to 14 of six deliveries. And the Scorpions 101 for three. And here comes Harmeet Singh once more. Again, that's a slightly wider delivery and has raced away for four again. So pretty similar ball and a pretty similar outcome. Yes, that time he uh, strayed in line on way on the fifth or the sixth stump on the offside and gave room to Rollins who flexed his arms and uh, played a good stroke in that wide gap uh, between... Uh, cover and uh, long, on, long off as he moves on to a quick 18 of just seven deliveries. Richie Barrington yet to face a delivery. 105 for three are the Florida Scorpions in the seventh over. So one more delivery here for Harmeet Singh in his second over. He got two wickets in his first over and one in the second. Is he going to be able to get two in this over as well? And that is struck really sweetly for a six. A reverse sweep there from Rawlins. And as you can see, umpire raising both hands for the maximum. Well, you can see on the replay here, a uh, nice reverse sweep as he connects beautifully right over the deep fine leg boundary. And the ball carried over the fence for six. 
as the Scorpions move on to 111 for three. Rollins uh, races on to 24 of just eight deliveries. This was an expensive over by Harmeet Singh. The first one, uh, of course, uh, he was he took two wickets in two deliveries, but this particular deliver this particular over by Harmeet, he was straying outside the off stump for quite a while. That resulted in those sixes on the offside as we move on to over number eight, Sasha. Yeah, so Richie Barrington will be facing his first delivery now. Scorpions on a Nelson, which some consider to be unlucky. Let's hope that it's not for Barrington. He won't want to get a golden duck. Sasha, if Dickie Bird was here, we would have seen uh, the one leg dance. Exactly right. And Manoj Akaria, he's the new man in with the ball. And Barrington just making sure you can see where all the fielders are placed before he gets ready to face his first delivery. Swing and a miss. Strike one, as they say in baseball, which is a big sport over here in the US of A. And Richie Barrington won't want to be getting any more strikes. He's going to want to go at a good rate here. Only... 10 overs in their innings and they're on 7.1 at the moment so not that many balls left to face and this time he gets a hold of it but it races down to the boundary and they'll just get a single after that thunderous start that the scorpions had there seems to be a slight uh, break that they have put on almost brought on primarily by Harmeet's uh, bowling but uh, Rollins uh, can play some magnificent strokes so I think we are looking on for the next three overs and watch out for Delray Rollins because he can strike it big and he can strike it long yeah here comes Manoj back into the attack for ball number three of his first over Again, just making sure everyone's in the correct place before he starts his run-up. Rollins facing. And he gets a hold of that, and that goes past the bowler, and that's going to race away for a four. Lovely shot there from Rollins. Straight down, back past Manoj, who couldn't do anything about that. You can see the high back lift of the southpaw as he hammers that one straight towards the side screen. For a superb four as Rollins now races on to 28 of nine deliveries. The Scorpions 116 for three. And that's going to be a wide. That's not what Maraj would have wanted. And Rollins doesn't, doesn't need to play at that. Let's see that one more time. Yeah, that was... A good decision from the umpire there. 117 for three. Scorpions after 7.3 overs. Ten over innings each. And so we're getting to the final stages of the Scorpions innings. Delray Rawlins, 28 off nine on strike now. Let's see if he can get another big hit. And he's top-edged that, and that's going to go past the keeper for four. Yes, and again, I want to point out to all the viewers uh, the high back lift uh, that Delray Rollins has uh, as a left-hander in the limited over formats uh, in ODIs as well as T20s. Most batsmen have a short back lift, but when you watch Delray Rollins' bat, uh, he brings his bat up all the way up to his left shoulder almost, which uh, gives him that extra time and the power that he generates uh, and this time that top edge ran away for four as Manoj Acharya comes in to bowl to Rollins. And that was a swing and a miss again. That was a good ball from Acharya. He managed to get that angling back into Rollins. And it just went in between his bat and body and top ball. Yeah, some of the other stylish uh, southpaws that we have witnessed in this U.S. Open have not had such high back lift. 
not struck very sweetly there from Rawlins, but they get the one from it. And at the end of the eighth over, the Florida Scorpions, 122 for three. And time to take another quick break. Mac Group is a real estate investment company. Our goal at Mac Group is to provide you with the expertise and service you need to do business in today's complex market. More information visit mockgroup.com. So Corny Dry, the man with the ball, coming in for his second over. Very expensive off his first, went for 19 runs. And I believe the Scorpions will want the same thing to happen again here. Yes, Sasha, this is the penultimate over of this innings for the Scorpions. 12 more deliveries left in this innings. 12 legal deliveries to amuse my fellow West Indies commentators here. And here comes Dry, bounding in. And that is, oh, that's a lovely stop there by Cornwall, diving down to his right, one-handed stop. And a good throw back to the keeper. And I think that they were safe. Let's watch that one more time. That was brilliant. Yes, look at that stroke. Uh, uh, Cornwall uh, diving to his right, making a brilliant save. And uh, shot the ball back to the keeper. But uh, Barrington was back in his crease, so no harm done. 123 yeah. for three. Takes a lot to get the big man down, and he got down pretty damn quickly for that. Here he comes, moving on to the other side for the right-handed Barrington. Just to make sure that if he happens to place it anywhere near Cornwall, he stops it. And Corny Dry coming in again to Barrington, who gets a hold of that, and that's gone high in the air. Man's running in from the deep, but no, just dropped short. So Barrington top edges it straight high in the air. Corny Dry, he his eyes lit up, thinking here's the wicket, but both the fielders couldn't get anywhere near it and fell into no man's land, and they got the single. Yes, that is what I would call it as a pitching wedge shot. Ballooned up in the air, ending, ending up in the no man's land. And no harm done to the batsman as Dry comes in right arm over the wicket. Rawlins on the strike here. And again, that's gone high in the air, but has he got the hold of it? It's just going to drop in between the two fielders running towards the ball. So again, a potential opportunity for a catch, but to no avail. It's fallen very safely both times, and they managed to get two runs off that ball. Let's see that one more time. Yes, as he was trying to run to the right uh, uh, with the hat on, he was trying to avoid some of the sun in his eyes, and that might have potentially interfered in his catching ability for that stroke that was played. 126 for three is the score. And dry back into the attack. And that is hit straight as they come, straight back into the opposite stumps. And here they come running back quickly for two. And easy two in the end. That was hit really sweetly. The stumps doing the fielding there, managing to prevent it from going to the boundary because it would have done if they weren't in the way. And if dry had got a hand to it, I reckon Barrington would have been out there. And the athletic umpire at that moment was uh, wise enough to move away in time so that he doesn't get struck by the ball. 128 for three. Two more balls of the penultimate over as Corny Dry comes running in here. And that's a good bouncer there from Corny Dry over the shoulder of Rawlins. So I believe that will be the one of the over. Yep, umpire signaling one for the over. Next ball like that will be a noble. 
But the dot comes from it, which is exactly what they would have wanted. I think this is the first good bouncer we have seen uh, delivered uh, by the Samparmi. And uh, that was a well-directed bouncer by Dry. And uh, this is the last ball of his spell, 128 for three. So Rawlins on strike and can't do a lot about that. That was a good wide delivery to Rawlins and they managed to get through for a single. So end of the ninth over, the Florida Scorpions, 129 for three and Corny Dry, 26 off his two overs. So more than he would have liked, but finished his spell nicely there. Yes, I thought that um, the, the fielding side, the Sump Army, would probably be disappointed with the first five to six overs as the bowlers were hammered across the park. But uh, Harmeet's uh, bowling uh, put the brakes on and they have recovered reasonably well as the last over now comes on, which uh, at the present time the score is 129 for three and uh, it's uh, going quite well for uh, the Scorpions. They would be happy with the score, I would imagine. But it's going to be an interesting contest when uh, the Sump Army will begin their chase. Yeah, you're exactly right. And Manoj back into the attack for his second over. And he will be bowling the final over of the Sump Army's bowling innings. It'll be interesting to see how many the Scorpions can get in this last over. We haven't had a 10 over game yet, so we're not entirely sure what a par score would be on this pitch. We'll let you know very shortly as Rawlins, the man facing the last, the first ball of the last over as Arcaria comes in and that's a full toss, a wide full toss and that's a good stop there out in the deep, that's a lovely stop, he managed to get a hand on that and prevent the boundary and good running there from the batters in, I believe two runs from it but if we can watch that again, here we go, that was a lovely stop out here in the deep, let's see yeah, o nearly overrun it, but managed to get his left hand on the ball and just managed to stick nicely as Akaria comes in for his second delivery of the over. And Rawlins looked disappointed as he struck that, not very sweetly, and the single comes from it. Yes, our last four deliveries coming up, Sasha. 131, I reckon they won't be eyeing around 140 for those 10 overs. And as you said... Uh, do you divide uh, the 20 over format into two and uh, make it a par score? Uh, if 170, 180 is a par for 20 overs, do you make it 90 or 100? I do not know. Here comes Akaria bounding in again. And that looks like it's gone a long, long way. And it has. That's a six there from Rawlins. He is going lovely pace at the moment. 47 of his 19 deliveries. And I reckon he's going to get a 50 here which is pretty impressive of just 19 balls so far. And if you see that, uh, the ball was on the fourth or the fifth stump outside off, and he launched it towards mid-wicket for a mighty six. That takes talent and power as Manoj Acharya comes in right arm over the wicket to bowl to Rollins. That's Barrington, and he has managed to smack that a very, very long way as well. So Barrington into the attack. He doesn't want to let Rawlins have all of it. And Barrington striking that really nicely. That has gone all the way down to Cal Corner there. And Florida Scorpions, 143 for three. Three balls remaining of their innings. Here comes Akaria again. And Barrington can't get that one away as sweetly as he did previously. And they're just going to settle for the single. So Rawlins comes back.
Two more deliveries to go. Yeah. 144 for three. Expensive over so far. 15 from it. And Rawlins goes again, but this has gone high in the air. And there is a man running in. Is he going to get under it? No, just falls short. And they're going to get two runs there. And I believe that is Rawlins' is 50. And that is the end. That's, that's the end of the Florida Scorpions innings. They finish on 145 for three. So great run rate, 14.5. And Richie Barrington and Delroy Rawlins, the men, to finish off their 10 overs. 48 the partnership, and I will let you run through the batting card.